This is work 2021, question number one. The question reads Mr. Safu borrowed 25,000 US dollars from FEAC Financial Services at 21% simple interest per annum for three years. If he was able to pay back the loan in two years at e equal yearly installment, how much did he pay each year? This is the question I am asked to answer. Solution to this. What I will do to answer this question or to attempt to answer this question is to get the total value. This 25,000 will amount to after three years. So after three years, the total amount will now be given by the formula A equals to P plus I. Where P is the principal, meaning the original money borrowed, which is 25,000. And I stand for the interest, interest that will be generated after three years. So I'll add the interest plus the original money to give me the total amount after three years. Uh, this formula, if I continue, expand it more, I will now have P plus P times R times T all over 100. And this simply is the interest. Interest, remember, is PRT all over 100. So I replaced I by P times R times T all over 100. I now substitute these values, these variables from the formula. So I now have P, which is the original money borrowed, 25,000 US dollars. And my R is the rate of interest, which is 21%. The time is three years. So substituting, I will now have 25,000 plus 25,000 times 21 times 3 all over 100. 25,000 is the P, 21 is the R, and 3 is the T. So simplify this fraction first. It will now have 15,750. This will be the interest generated in 3 years. Then I will add it to the original money borrowed. It will give me the final amount. So adding this, I will now have 40,750 US dollars. So this 25,000 dollars after three years will now be equals to 40,750. So this is the, uh, the total amount that the person, meaning Mr. Sabu, is expected to pay after three years. But in the question it says he was able to pay even before the three years in two years and he paid equal amount each year that is equal yearly installment so how much did he pay so this is the total amount that you're supposed to pay and he paid this amount in two equal yearly installment which means the amount paid each year would now be equals to this total amount divided by two so i have forty thousand seven hundred and fifty divided by two whatever will now be the amount that he paid each year. Dividing this, I will now have $20,375. So this is the amount that he paid each year. So let me get, uh, let me see the mark distribution according to the WIC marking scheme for this very question. This is the mark distribution according to the WIC marking scheme. First, I have the M1 mark, meaning the method mark for finding the interest. And this is where I have the interest I substituted in the formula for finding the interest 25,000 times 21 times 3 divided by 100. For substituting this correctly, I now have M1 mark, meaning method mark. For calculating the interest, that is 15,750, I have the accuracy mark, that is the A1 mark. Then for finding the amount paid each year, meaning dividing the total amount by two, I will now have another method mark. And for the final answer, which is 20,375, I have the accuracy mark, that is the A1 mark. So this gives a total of four marks. And I was able to get all those four marks in this question. So this is according to the WIC marking scheme for this question. This question and a total will have a total of four marks.